Minnesota high school hockey is the premier level at this age group uh, nationally. Our kids have quite the player development model in front of them. Usually you see the elite kids are gonna be coming out of this side of town and in the state of Minnesota projecting to college and pro. The game of hockey's never been faster. The pace of the play, the decision making, the puck movement is, is at an all time high. The game is about time and space and if you have those two elements, you're most likely gonna make better decisions but you're gonna have a lot more success. There's ways to do that on the ice, but as you look into other areas of development, there are ways to do it off the ice. Intelligent is a computer-based program where the, the athletes will sit down for 30-minute sessions and they'll go through a series of different segments, training their brain to think faster and react faster. It has the optics of looking at the video game, but in all reality, it is a cognitive trainer. You're actually training your brain to handle multiple sources of information at the same time. If you can predict the play one or two seconds ahead, you're most likely gonna make a better decision, but you're also gonna be able to make a decision on the right time sequence. And that's really important that we want players to be actually working one step ahead of the play rather than one second behind. The program is actually reacting to the athlete, so if the athlete has success, the program is going to add degrees of difficulty in real time. And one of the biggest complaints, if they will, or struggles, is that the program is difficult. Failure has to be there consistently. If you're into developing an athlete, there needs to be conflict, there needs to be failure within your program so the athlete can learn and react accordingly. The development window here of when the program starts to set in and become a little bit more manageable is usually after about the fourth or fifth session. And then after about eight to 10 sessions, you're gonna to start to feel like there's some success transferring to the ice. The results that I've seen on ice is, is the ability for the young athlete to focus. Now you're actually reacting faster, you have a divided attention working in your favor. So now you can actually apply it to on ice practice scenarios with conflict and failure. In any competitive environment, you're looking for the edge. You're looking for something new. Any sport that involves time and space with an ever-changing environment, those sports are gonna really benefit from the ability to, again, divide your attention and retain and recall that information over time.